What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually going to do, I guess you could say kind of a fishing challenge so to speak. Um, Logix Baits actually sent me some lures. Um, so I've got three different rods today. I've got a couple of different baits tied on. I'll show you those in just a second. But guys, if you're not already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button for me. Um, turn the bell notification on. That way you know when my next video comes out. As well as if you like this content, hit that like button for me that just lets me know you enjoy it and i will continue to come out with more so as you can see i got the lake behind me here I'm gonna get my gear out and then we'll get out of the water Alright guys, so first up, I'm going to be throwing the frog from Logix. Of course, I got that on my ducket triad rod. And we've got that with a lose high speed reel. Um, I believe this is a 7-3 to 1. 7-5 to 1, excuse me. 7-5 to 1. So, I've got that on a 7 foot 3 heavy action rod. But going to be tossing this frog here from Logix. So, we'll see what we got. All right, so I have used these Logic Frogs before, but never this color, so we'll see how it goes. And the last time that I was out here, there was Gar spawning all up close. It's pretty wild. There was also a bedding bass that I kept tossing everything in the book at, but I just could not get it to take. So, we'll see what we can do today. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the wind. I'm kind of over in this cove, hoping that it blocks off a lot of it. <clears throat> but I don't have any kind of wind guard on the microphone on this GoPro. So, I do apologize for that. And also guys, this braid, I'm using this is Adco braid this is 30 pound I am in love with this braid so they were nice enough to send me some to test out and I am a huge fan huge huge fan it ties very very nice it casts really smooth um, and especially paired up with this loose reel it is super smooth, not too loud. So I'm gonna chunk this top water a little bit and then I actually have a jig that Logic sent me. We'll switch over to that jig and see what we can do. I'm a big fan of their frogs. I would say they rank up there to me with the boom boom frogs. Um, I was really, really impressed with the frog. And I've got a couple of different colors of these, um, but we'll talk about that here in a bit. All right, so next up we've got a jig here. This is their bluegill color, if I recall. And I think their jigs are called stingers. Um, I've just added a kind of a speed crawl trailer from Lucky Strike, and this is in the Okeechobee color. But not a bad setup. We'll see if we can get anything on it. I'm throwing that on a loose Mach 1 speed, speed stick, and this is actually a left-handed reel, my one and only left-handed reel. And funny story of how I ended up with this, Academy was having a huge sale. So I actually paid $40 for this entire setup, which the rod alone is worth way more than that. So I figured that was a great way to kind of get into the left-handed reel game. So we'll give it a shot. A 
definitely an unorthodox way for me to fish. So if I'm on the struggle bus a little bit here, you know why. But we'll see if we can't catch this fish on it. There's a bass right there. right there. There's a bass right there in front of us, boys and girls. Let's see if it comes back, but it was just right off over here. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. Let's see if I can see. Visibility is really good. There are definitely, definitely fish over here. So we're gonna work it and see what we can get. Feeling pretty positive about this spot right here. Try a little slow drag across the bottom first. See if we can't figure out what these bass want. I say we may have to throw a Guggen trailer on there and get it really some good action. Because that speed crawl right now, I don't think it's enough flop. We're going to take this little trailer off. We're going to give it a little bit bigger profile and we'll get back at it. All right, so what we were going with was this little speed crawl here. Just not enough action on that. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is switch over to this Guggen Baits crack and crawl. A lot more paddle action. Um, so we'll see if we can't get those fish to activate. And with these guys, so there's notches on here. So this top notch right here, you want to take and you can bite it off right at the top, make that guy a little shorter and he's gonna fit a lot better on your jig because it makes it more of that same length as a speed crawl. So, we're gonna get him all threaded up here. And you probably, looking back at this, you're probably gonna wanna trim the weed guard on these jigs. Because I personally like the weed guard just a little bit shorter, help with the hookups. But there she is right there. A little bit bigger profile, a lot more flap. Let's get it back in the water, see what we can do. I didn't film an outro uh, for this video so I'm back in the office different day but that's okay because now I can actually give you guys an in-depth look at some of the baits well all of the baits that logic sent me um, but first let's just take a look
So first up we have, this is the Sexy Shad swim bait. Um, so it's a five inch swim bait and it is 1.4 ounces. I didn't fish with it in this video, but in previous videos I have. As you can see, there's the action on it there. <clears throat> Couple of takeaways for this. So one, the hooks on it are pretty sharp. So I don't think you're gonna have to change those out. They are pretty sharp. Um, you have to burn it though for it to get this action. So that was my that was my main takeaway. I wanted to be able to have a little bit slower retrieve and really get that that tail whip action that you see there. Unfortunately, I had to reel it really fast before it would start to do its thing. Um, and that may be going looking back, I may have should have taken off this split ring here and just tied directly to the bait. Um, but nonetheless. That's Sexy Shad Swim Bait. Next up, we have, they sent one of their swim jigs. This is the Stinger Jig, and this is in the bluegill color. 3 8 ounce jig. Um, couple of takeaways for this guy. Number one, right off the bat, modification. I'm gonna trim, I would trim that weed guard. Um, for me, that's entirely too long. It's way past the hook. Um, what that's gonna provide is gonna help with the hookup. So it's gonna make these bristles a little bit easier for that fish to get into that hook as well as I would, trim, I would trim the skirt up a little bit just to give it a little more body when it's in the water. Um, I tried a couple of different trailers on this. I started out with uh, basically a speed crawl and then went to a Guggen's crack and crawl just to try to give it a little bit bigger profile, more action. Um, there was a couple bedding bass, but I could not get them to take. They were pretty finicky. Um, the other thing with this that I'm not the biggest fan of, and I'm going to try to move the skirt out of the way so you can see it. So there is a band there, the rubber band. So it's not a hand tied jig. It's a banded jig. Um, my previous experience with the band is over time, water, heat, temperature change that will deteriorate and break off and then there goes your skirt. I much rather prefer the hand tied skirt, um, especially for a jig that's supposed to be more custom. Um, but nonetheless, their Stinger swim jig. Next up, and this is really the reason that I originally sought out Logix, um, we have their Slasher Frog. So, and the one I was using in the video was a little bit different color, um, but same profile. This is a third of an ounce, excuse me, half ounce, half ounce frog. Um, modification right away, I would trim these guys up in the back, um, just because what happens is that bass comes, hits those legs, and it doesn't even get close to the hook. You pull it out of its mouth. Trim that up, you're gonna have uh, better success in my opinion. But I really do love the color schemes on these frogs. Um, nice soft body there. And I've also got it in a different color here. Uh, the first one you saw, this is natural. This color is red dragon. So it's got that red belly and a black, deep purple, almost black back. But same thing, I'm gonna trim these guys up. Um, last up, they sent a popping frog, which this is the what they call the Reaper. And I really do love the color scheme on this. A little bit smaller profile, um, but as you can see in the front, it does have that popper. Um, same thing, I would probably trim those legs up just a little bit, help with the hookups. But nonetheless, guys, um, what I want to do is I want to give away all of these. I want to give them all away to my followers. Um, I'm not going to put the giveaway on YouTube though. This giveaway is going to be on Instagram. So to get entered, sling over to my Instagram page and check it out. I'm going to put the description to my Instagram profile below. Um, one of the requirements though, guys, is you're going to have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you're already here and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. That way you know when my next video comes out, as well as if you like this content, hit that thumbs up for me. That just lets me know you enjoy it and I'll continue to come out with more. Um, but get down in the comment section for me, guys. Um, have you ever used Logix baits? If so, what's been your experience? I want to hear from you. Um, I've kind of had, I guess you could say a history with them going back and forth. I've done two previous videos, which I'll throw those up there. You can check those out. 
Um, but main thing is they have since switched ownership. Um, one of my big, big complaints in the past uh, was they never would keep anything in stock. So they would get something that, you know, everybody would fall in love with, but they would never restock it. They were always looking to come out with something new. And so they would always come out with new stuff, but never replenish the old stuff. So that was a big issue for me. Kind of went separate ways, got wind that they had new ownership. And so they sent out these, these baits here. Um, in fact, you know, the owner, he watched my previous video before he decided to buy the company. Um, so big takeaway, they have since moved in a different direction. They're trying to go, I guess, more high end with their baits. So their crankbaits and things like that, they're not the same that they were in previous, that I used in previous videos. Um, they're actually quite a bit more expensive than previously, um, which you guys know I'm a huge bargain clearance bait shopper. Uh, so don't know that I would be purchasing them just because where I fish, you can get broken off so easy um, and it would be tough a tough pill to swallow to lose a $15 crankbait. But not to sway you away from them, uh, check them out. The paint schemes on everything are really, really nice. Um, can't go wrong with that. Nonetheless, guys, that's all I got for this one. I hope you enjoyed this content. I'm out.